Uh, my name is Boris, and I'm from Menu Meat. Um, this is a very simple and very non-intrusive menu app where you can walk into a restaurant and see an interactive menu like this. <coughs> So, by not intrusive, that means you can scan a QR code just like the one on my T-shirt, and immediately it pops up on your cell phone. So it's a web app; it's not a native app. Require no installation and no sign up. And if you would like to make order, and it will be instantaneously available. So you can immediately make order and. Ship it into the manager's panel. And this is what the manager and staff will see. So they will see, OK, which table needs attention, and what are the order <coughs> they just made. So it's very, very lightweight for the user. You don't need to install anything. You just <coughs> walk into a restaurant. You see a QR code. If the waiter or waitress are busy, then you can serve yourself for maybe five, 10 minutes and enjoy yourself. And look at the beautiful interface that you don't need any explanation. If you happen to be a foreign traveler that don't read English, then this is a good friend for you. And also, for the restaurant, it's very important. For the restaurant, they don't need to install any <coughs> hardware or software. As long as they have a tablet or computer connects to the internet, they can handle everything from menu updates to daily special schedule. So it will dramatically reduce the workload of the restaurant manager or the staff. And it's very, very <coughs> lightweight. So comparing to the current existing uh, competitors, we are the most economical uh, platform that they can use. So there is a statistics from the National Restaurant Association, uh, last year, uh, 2013, actually, it's uh, pretty fresh data. So only one out of eight chain restaurants have mobile menu or app available. And to those individual restaurants, only 5% of them have that. But what is the user's needs? 67% of the user would like to use if there is mobile menu available. And 50 52% of the customer would like to use the payment system, but the availability and the reality has a huge gap. So this is our target market. So how many competitors out there? Uh, I would say in our list, there are 32. And none of them are as lightweight and as convenient as we are. And a lot of them require a lot of infrastructure investment for the restaurant. So it is the very costly initial acquisition. So for now, our marketing strategy is we are contacting a lot of executive chef, food writers, and the associations, like food truck association. And by the way, we have food truck modules. And this is the food truck module and the mall module. In a shopping mall, we have uh, Gomi Food Court, and that's a big customer. And as to how big is the market? Um, here is the statistics. So, according to the latest data, the restaurant is about a million, 980,000, and food truck is around 50,000, and stadiums, 107, and we are working with, uh, we can't disclose that deal yet, but we are working with a major manufacturer, uh, commercial Wi-Fi manufacturer, to have a deal to be their by default food ordering uh, program in their Wi-Fi equipment to the NFL uh, stadiums. And also we have the shopping malls. So this is our targeting uh, cohort. And the business model, uh, we charge subscriptions. Uh, it's a fair decent, it's a fair decent price. And also we charge the transactions if they use the payment module to do takeout. So this is our current uh, business model, and we do an advertisement. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, you, you, you go place your order. How do they know where you are? 
Okay, so the question is, if the customer order, where do the staff know where they are? <coughs> so from the manager's panel, you'll be able to see the table position. So the staff will know, okay, it's A002. This is this table. Oh, okay. The customer will see a QR code. By scanning the QR code, it will automatically recognize so the each, table number. So each table has its own code? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, since you capture so much information about what I need, uh, do you allow me to rate the food and the service and all of that on my, on, my, uh, on my order and then publish it so that other people who want to visit? Okay, uh, this is about the privacy issue, right? So what you order, what you eat. Am I going to disclose the data to third-party players? So you, you allow rating it so that you know, I can, other people can see the review uh -huh. that I gave to my order, uh -huh. how the food was, how the service was, and, and decide, okay, I want to go to that restaurant. We can, we could, but currently we are not making this happen because we would like to mm -hmm. uh, have our customer use it comfortably. Yes? Uh, what, type, uh, what type of payment system do you need to create? Currently we are using PayPal. Yeah, they are reasonable and relatively uh, safe. It's not the safest one, but uh, it's well accepted. You mentioned competition. How do you compete with uh, people like, uh, what is it, uh, single platform that already have very wide coverage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the competition, this is a big question. Uh, we believe our product is very lightweight, very convenient. And we believe the product itself has its niche. And comparing to the other product, uh, because we are um, <coughs> relatively inexpensive, especially the installation part, so I think we have our competitiveness. And um, as to the marketing, we, we have our own channels. Um, I can't disclose it here, but uh, we have very strong sales force. Yes. Uh, that general case, yes. Yeah. I think the statistic was 67% of people would order off a mobile menu. Is that correct? If it's available. If it's available. So I guess I'm curious. I'm a little surprised by that. Because I mm -hmm. feel like if I walked into a restaurant, I wouldn't take the time to scan a code. If I could talk to somebody, I guess, like, what is the situation? Like, is it just for restaurants and like, waiting tables and the waiter doesn't have time for me? I scan the code. And then, I guess I, I was a little surprised that people, if they could talk to somebody, you know, and just give them their order rather than going to the upper and down. Okay, so his question is uh, the doubt about the 67% uh, of the customer would like to use the uh, mobile menu. That data is from the latest report from National uh, Restaurant Association. And of course, if you are in a not very busy restaurant, of course you would like to talk to the waiter or waitress, but if, if it's very busy, if you don't really like that guy, so what would you do? Because <laughs> as a previous restaurant owner myself, uh, the restaurant business is a very unique niche. Because when you are busy, you are dead busy. And when the busy hour goes, it's just like an empty shopping mall. So it has a huge fluctuation change. So you would like to deal with the customer when they've rushed in and you want to put something that playable, they can feel in control for at least five, 10 minutes. That will give a big buffer zone between the, the staff and the customer. So you will f have fewer complaints and much better user experience. All right, that's actually all the time we have left, but we'll also be around for other questions at the end, right? All right thank you very much.